Psalm 32, verse 7, God's described as, You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. When I was a kid growing up, one of the things I used to do was when I was frightened or uh, there was um, something going on in my life, I used to head off to an airing cupboard that we had at the top of our stairs and I used to crawl in the bottom of the airing cupboard and hide and I used to find great comfort and safety just being there surrounded by the blankets. It was just my escape place, I guess. And in Genesis chapter 3, at the very start of the Bible, um, you can remember the story of, of Adam. And Adam turned around and Adam sinned against God and he disobeyed. He ate the fruit from the tree. And Adam knew that he had done something really wrong. Um, and he knew that God was, was going to be cross and the punishment was going to be severe. So when Adam heard the voice of God and in the cool of the morning, it says that Adam hid from God. He ran away. And he hid from us. I think a common uh, way that we have as human beings of dealing with problems and dealing with our own in insecurities and our own frailties is to try and hide in some ways. And Psalm 32, really at its simplest, is about, it's about being forgiven by God. It's about God letting, washing away all the problems in our life, all the things when we come to him and confess them to him. And verse 7 especially is an amazing verse because it talks about us hiding. But instead of us hiding from God, it talks about us hiding in God and being surrounded with our God with shouts of deliverance. How can that make sense? Surely you shouldn't run away or you should run away and hide from the thing, not run into the thing that, that maybe can find you out, but we are to run into God. You see, when Adam faced his sin, he ran from God. But the psalmist, the one who wrote this psalm says, don't hide from God, hide in God, run to him, because only in God is there forgiveness. Only can God wash away all the problems and all the stain that's in our life and all the rubbish that we pick up every day. And, and all the time I meet people who try to run away from this stuff when God says, run to me. And in me, you will find forgiveness. In me, you will find freedom. In me, you will find liberty. And I will set you free. Because our God is a great forgiving God. He just doesn't judge. He offers his arms open wide for us to go and run into. It says in Colossians 3, ver or 3 verses 3 and 4, it says, You have died and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear for him in glory. We are hidden in Christ so that when God the Father looks at us, all he sees is Jesus. That's an amazing thought to start today with. Let me pray for you. Father God, we know that none of us are perfect and we all fail, we let you down. There's things in our lives that we're not proud of. But today, Lord, rather than running away from you, we choose to run to you, knowing, Lord God, that you will hide all of our sin and all of our iniquity and all of our shame. And Lord, knowing that today, that you will sing songs of deliverance and freedom over us. And we will be restored and we will be renewed. And when the Father looks at us, all he will see is Jesus, the pure and spotless Lamb of God. So Father, help us today to start a day afresh and you with no guilt and no condemnation and no shame because we are new and we are free in you. God bless you.